What's up? In today's video, we're doing a walkthrough of the new features in iOS 6. So the first two things you will notice in iOS 6 is that the Maps application got a new icon along with the Settings app. And now when you go to Maps, you actually get a full Apple done, Apple made application of um, they actually flew over cities and actually made a 3D flyover feature. So as you can see here, I can zoom in in San Francisco, as you can see the new layout looks awesome. You get all the different roads and different icons for the roads as you can see here. And the new thing is, if you go to the satellite option here, uh, now you can actually click on 3D. And then the map of uh, the 3D um, building and stuff like that will load. And as you can see, if you zoom in, you can actually see all the mountains and stuff like that. So you can see separate houses. It looks very beautiful if you're well, looking at some uh, skyscrapers and stuff like that. But as you can see, there's like every single tree in the city uh, that you can see. And you can zoom it uh, like that. So that's pretty cool. You can navigate j with two of your fingers. Uh, you can zoom out. You can even to use two fingers to uh, change the angle of your uh, 3D, like just like this. And so, as you can see, this feature uh, I think is pretty great. So basically, this is the new map application done by Apple. The next thing I'm going to show you is the new updated Siri. Now Siri got new functionalities, uh, for example finding some movie theaters and new um, movies and stuff like that, as well as some statistics about sports. And you can now also reserve tables, which I think it's only available in US for now. Now Siri is also capable of finding restaurants and also reviews for them. Find a good restaurant around me. So as you can see, it gives us a me uh, little menu, uh, the new layout, and you can see uh, the reviews for the uh, restaurants and stuff like that. You can even see it on the map. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, some new functionalities to Siri. It can even show you some sports stats. And also Siri learned how to open some apps. Open the camera app. Another great feature with iOS 6 is it now has integration with Facebook. So as you can see, for example here, if I pick a photo, and um, right now we have an option to share it as always. And now with iOS 6, what you have is a little menu which pops up, and you have like a, like a home page kind of style uh, layout here. You can uh, share it with the Facebook icon right here. This little window with Facebook integration pops up. You can enter your text and post it. Another great thing that Apple added to the Photos app is shared photo streams. Now you can share your photos with your friends as you take them and they can also comment on it. Another new feature in iOS 6 is the Passbook application which actually allows you to store your passes like tickets or store cards, whenever, uh, whatever you want but I think it's only available for US users by now. By the time iOS 6 is officially out, different companies will integrate their uh, tickets and stuff like that with this app I guess. Another cool feature in iOS 6 is that you can now use FaceTime calls uh, without having a Wi-Fi spot. You can just use your cellular data, so that's pretty cool. You don't need to be at home every time you need to FaceTime someone. Now the phone application actually got a little redesign in the dialing section. Also when somebody calls you and you decline the call just like this with the camera uh, slider here, you now have options to remind you later or to reply with a quick SMS saying you can't respond right now. Now the mail application also got some new features as you can see here. Uh, now you now have a folder for your VIP email so if you have an important for person uh, who um, emails you, you can now choose them as VIP and their emails will, start, will be stored in this um, separate folder as you can see here. And also their emails will be marked as uh, little stars right here, let me show you. Uh, right here. So as you can see this is an important email so there is a star uh, next to it. Another new little tweak in mail is that now you can refresh your emails just like this using this um, cool little animation here um, and before you had to click on the uh, replay button right here. Safari got some new features as well as you can see here. For example if I click on the website and I load it, the load bar, uh, you, can, you couldn't really notice it now but it's actually smooth uh, so it's loading uh, like this, like smoothly. Also the option uh, button right here got a new layout uh, also as in the Photos app. In Safari's landscape mode you now have an option to uh, view Safari in full screen and uh, when you turn full screen on you have a, 
absolute different feeling of using your iPhone. I swear, this feels just amazing. It feels like you're having a bigger screen, actually, because if you look at how much play Safari so takes without um, without the full screen option, it's only like 60%. So with this option, you definitely have a better experience of browsing the web. Now that's about it about the major updates, but there are still some updates which are cool and that Apple didn't really mention in their keynote. For example, this uh, music application now has a new uh, layout. For example, here as you can see, there is a new slider uh, which is made with like the iCloud uh, design. Then as you can see, these buttons are orange right now, so I think that looks pretty sweet. Now if you quit the song, you have a different layout of the main menu of the music app. As you can see, it's completely white right now, which I think it looks pretty sweet because we're all tired of this um, sort of bluish, light blue uh, color here and then the uh, black tabs at the bottom right with the blue um, uh, text. So I think that's a pretty cool update as well. Now a little thing that I noticed also in the Reminders app is that now you don't have an, uh, the feature to switch between different lists and reminders. But now you need to actually go to this list menu as you can see right here. And then you can choose your uh, list. Also you have the calendar built in right here so you can simply just slide just like this and choose your day. Now there is also just a little update in the camera application. Now the menu bar of the camera application is completely black and then the shutter button is sort of uh, light gray so that's a cool update as well I think. The weather application got a little redesign as well as you can see the background uh, changed a little bit. Now this is in Celsius, so don't worry, I don't live in the North Pole. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty cool, and it now has different uh, new graphics inside. And of course, you get the option to view the weather for the next uh, 24 hours. And I guess the last thing I want to cover in this walkthrough is the d new uh, Do Not Disturb option, which you can turn on, and then you have the little uh, moon icon uh, next to your clock. And this will make your banners and... Uh, uh, different notifications not pop up so they will be just muted and you won't be disturbed uh, when you're doing homework or when you're just sleeping now if you go to notifications and then do not disturb you can actually schedule when um, your iPhone automatically puts itself under do not disturb mode uh, you can choose the time and then you can uh, even choose which calls from which groups your the calls are still going to be uh, allowed and then you can turn on the repeated calls, which uh, when somebody calls you within th uh, twice within three minutes, uh, it's actually going to uh, leave this call uh, go through. So that will basically mean if there is an emergency call for your mom or something, you will not miss this call. So thank you guys for watching this walkthrough of the new features in iOS 6. Stay tuned for the official release uh, this fall. But if you want to get it now, you can check out my other video. Um, on my channel, which is how to get iOS 6 uh, right now. So you can check that out. And then all these features are going to be available for you uh, right today. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.